Hey guys, it's Brandon Ponte here. I'm starting my informative speech today on solar energy. I got my audience here. I have my mother, my mother's fiance, and my girlfriend Mackenzie. Okay. As we focus towards using green energy for the future of how we gather resources, I want to take a closer look at solar energy. According to NASA.gov, solar energy is the conversion of light into uh, electricity at the atomic level. Uh, it was first discussed by French physicist Edmond Becquerel in 1839, but it wasn't until Albert Einstein presented his ideas on it in 1905. And during that time, Einstein actually progressed the field greatly. In 1954, Bell Labs created the first ever solar panel. Uh, it wasn't mass produced and used in residential and commercial applications because they figured out that it would be too costly to do so. So that's why it didn't catch on back in the 50s. In the 60s and 70s, NASA was one of the first uh, agencies to actually use solar panels, and they used them on their space shuttles and the spacecrafts. Um, the reason they did this was because obviously they couldn't harvest any sort of nuclear energy in space. Uh, now we fast forward to today's uh, applications. Uh, we've gotten to the point in our technology mm -hmm. where we can have a solar panel on our roof and power our whole house. And there's solar fields out in the desert and even some around here locally, um, such as the Toledo Zoo actually has a solar field next to the parking lot if any of you have driven by there. Thanks to energy.gov, I'm going to explain how solar energy works. Uh, for, this, for this example, we're going to talk about the application on a house. Um, so basically this is just a house that has a solar panel on the roof. Um, so how, how it works is the, sol the sunlight hits the solar panel on the roof, and from there the panel converts sunlight into um, DC power, which stands for um, direct current. From there the power travels down to an inverter, which converts direct current into alternating current. The alternating current is then moved over to the panel in which it will send the electricity throughout your house. Um, and the other interesting thing kind of about this is, is if your electric panel, or if your solar panel is producing too much electricity, it can actually send your excess electricity down the grid towards other customers to supply more power for everybody else as well. Uh, not only does solar energy help the environment and um, us, it also helps the economy as well. According to the American Solar Energy Society, the workforce over the last year has increased 22%. So not only are we able to you know, help out the earth, but we're also able to put people back to work that maybe haven't been to work in a long time. And these jobs range from entry-level employees to engineers to all sorts of positions, even higher up, executive level jobs. Um, the market share for solar energy has just passed the 1% point in the United States, which may not seem like a lot, but when you stop and think about all the energy that is produced and used um, in the short amount of time period that solar energy has been used as a production method for electricity, it's made a great uh, improvement. Another major reason for this is that in the past five years, the price to install and maintain solar panels has dropped 53%. So it's become a lot more affordable. And actually currently the government has a 30% tax credit for residential applications and a 10% tax credit for commercial applications. So it's a good investment if you have the opportunity. There's currently 600,000 installations in the United States powering more than 4 million homes. 
So, and I, we only expect that number to grow as we rely more and more on these renewable resources. And not only are they cleaner, but they're also safer in the fact that we don't have to worry about any sort of nuclear meltdown or anything like that. Uh, hopefully you now have a better understanding of uh, how solar energy works, what it is, and how it can be useful to us in the future. Thank you very much.